Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. I just wanted to mention that this is going to be exceptional video because I don't have much time to make one video for each pair this week. Uh, so I'm going to summarize all the analysis uh, for the pairs in this one single video. However, I wanted to mention something about our premium signals group that as part of being honest to everyone and to my members, I just had to step and say uh, that the last week was actually pretty rough and bad for the signals. Except for Friday, Friday we were able to finish in good profit. We had just one loss in one signal, uh, which was the EuroCAD, and the rest of the signals were actually in very good profit. Uh, but sadly, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday were not really good at all. And to be honestly speaking, I don't think it's our fault what happened. Really, neither me or Angela can be blamed for what happened. I mean, this was really one crazy week. I mean, there was a, there was there were a lot of events happened in this world which have affected the signals. It was really bad for forex, um, starting from the news about the coronavirus being spread all over the globe, and uh, to the news about Brexit and the Bank of England which has kept the interest rates on hold and that alone has raised the, the pound uh, for almost 400 pips as we can see here once this news hit the market the pound has raised for almost 450 pips if I'm not mistaken yeah 430 pips um, also the news or, or sorry the hearings of the impeachment of Mr. Trump as the president so all in all it was really crazy week and I don't think it's our fault for what happened and I really hope uh, some of the clients in the premium group who have been with us for months will step up and say that yes it is actually not usual to have uh, this much of losses usually we are ending every week in profit uh, sadly only the last week was not so good I mean that is normal in every business you, are, you will have ups and downs I believe the last week we had our down and hopefully the next week we are going to recover for our members and we are going to uh, have our ups again so again I just wanted to uh, emphasize that it was not really our fault for what happened and I'm apologizing for any so any losses happened to everyone and my friends again hopefully next week we are going to recover for you and for everyone so going back to our weekly analysis uh, let's see what happened to the euro usd which has actually went exactly as i thought i said in the last uh, midweek analysis video that the euro usd is good for the buy from the support level because of the price action we're having here the pin bar this pin bar has indicated that the euro usd should be good for the buy not to mention that we had also double wicks uh, on the bottom of this support level and therefore we can see the euro usd has raised and went up all the way and i mentioned also that it is it should be good for the sell right on this uh, resistance however i believe that uh, the euro the euro usd has raised because of the news about the impeachment of mr trump and the hearings uh, which is not going so well so far so what's gonna happen next to the euro usd in my opinion the euro usd is gonna rise uh, but not immediately it's gonna rise all the way up until it hit this resistance right here and from that point i believe it's gonna continue falling more down not to mention that the euro usd is about to retest this broken uh, support trend line here so we can see that here we had this support uh, trend line and the euro usd is about to actually retest this level of the uh, support the broken support trend line and it's gonna become the new resistance trend line and then gonna continue falling however that's not gonna happen immediately in my opinion what we are having right here is a strong resistance number one and remember i am on the daily candles so on daily candles we can see that here we have a resistance number one so in my opinion the euro usd is gonna reverse on this resistance level falling down to this previous support and from that level of the support is gonna be good for the buy and keep your trade running until the euro usd hit this resistance level so to summarize it more like that this is gonna be our entry for start buying the euro usd let me just confirm it first hold on i don't want to rush giving the signals just be sure just be sure uh, let's go for our chart 
I believe I will give you the signal from this point here but I just have to mention that the euro USD might actually fall for this previous support right here like that exactly like that yes perfect like that perfect yes so uh, it might fall for 10 pips only that is fine so let me just mention to you that you can start buying the euro USD on the level 1.10696 and except for the euro USD to continue falling a little bit against you for almost 10, 10 to 12 pips before it's, uh, it's actually gonna start rising more up again now I just have to mention again that the euro USD is not gonna fall to this resist uh, support again uh, most likely it's gonna reverse first on this resistance and then after that it's gonna pull back hitting this previous support level and then gonna continue its bullish momentum all the way until it hit this previous resistance so we are looking for approximately 96 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna get them all and I believe that's it for the euro USD let's now check the pound USD so the pound USD as I mentioned in the last week weekly analysis video please check this out I mentioned for you that you can start shorting the pound USD if you see any bearish breakout candle from the support level which did not happen that was not a bearish breakout candle at all it wasn't breaking out from the support level um, the line to draw the support level was actually like that at the bottom of it just like that so the idea the idea was if you see any bearish breakout candle breaking out from this previous support we can start look for the pullback or the retest and start shorting the pound USD again and I told you also you have to wait any price action on this support trend line if you see any good price action indicating the buy order you can start buying and I mean look at that check it out check out this really nice and perfect pin bar that is what indicating or actually giving the signal to start buying the pound USD and I really hope everyone have bought the pound USD after seeing this signal here the pin bar was really a nice confirmation to start buying the pound USD and my signal was to keep the trade running uh, for almost 100 pips just until it hit this previous resistance but the pound USD kept growing up because of the Bank of England uh, holding their interest rates so what's next now as I said these the, this groan of the pound USD is only up oh, sorry it's just because of the news about the Bank of England holding their interest rate however I don't think this is gonna last forever I believe that the pound USD should be really good for the sell exactly from this point let me just uh, make it lower like that so I believe the pound USD is gonna be good for short right from this level let me just confirm it by looking at the left to find strong support and resistance levels which is fantastic I can see it right here and actually everywhere so that is gonna be good level to start shorting the pound USD I don't see it rising at all uh, after this point so we can start shorting even the price action I mean we are not seeing any pattern indicating uh, bullish reverse sorry uh, bullish reversal yes um, we're not just seeing normal ranging market here and if, I, if I'm not mistaken what we are having here right here is just a trend line having have been broken out and what's gonna happen the pound USD is gonna retest this broken resistance uh, bro sorry broken trend line before actually continue rising more up however that's not gonna happen this week definitely I mean this is daily candles so we are looking for almost two weeks analysis so in my opinion what's gonna happen in general in, in total for the pound USD is reversing from this uh, resistance falling down to retest this broken resistance trend line and then from this support maybe we can start buying again the pound USD but again that is not really confirmed yet however the signal for this week is for the bearish the pound USD is going to reverse after hitting this resistance and going all the way to retest this broken resistance trend line therefore our tech profit level will be on the level where is the pair expected to actually finish the retest so again uh, the signal is to the sell right on the level sorry 1.32564 let me just be sure 
64 correct and let's keep our trade running all the way until the pound hit this previous support level right here after finishing the retest of this trend line and that is gonna be on the level 1.31086 after that we're gonna see what will gonna happen uh, I will just uh, update you my friends in the midweek analysis video about what to do with the signal for the pound USD let's check right now the AUD USD uh, my signal last week for the AUD USD was for the sell uh, however we were expecting for the pair to reverse right on the support level and then I was hoping to start shorting the AUD USD on this previous resistance but however the AUD USD just continue to fall more down now let's see how far is the AUD USD is gonna keep this bearish momentum now honestly speaking I don't see it actually gonna continue reverse uh, its bearish momentum I believe it's gonna make some pullback right now and it's gonna reverse until it hit this uh, previous resistance resistance which I have mentioned in the last video going to the weekly candles on the weekly candles we can see that the AUD USD is really on a very strong uh, support level I mean this is like the lowest in so many years I mean this is the lowest since 10 years we can see in 2009 we had this uh, very same level of the support and therefore I don't think that the AUD USD is gonna break out from this uh, support level immediately no I believe it's gonna make uh, a pullback and sorry it's gonna reverse going all the way up until it hit this previous uh, resistance and then it's gonna continue falling now I believe it's really not smart to give the signal to start buying the AUD USD therefore we we might actually want to put it on hold I mean if you want to start buying the AUD USD you can do it on your own risk my signal is actually for the, the for the sell but that's gonna uh, take some time I cannot just uh, go reckless and tell you to start buying the AUD USD all the way until it hit this previous resistance so my advice for you is to hold any trade on the AUD USD uh, just wait for the right moment to start shorting it again which is gonna be perfectly uh, timed when the AUD USD gonna hit this previous resistance yes I know that seems like it's gonna not happen this week however I cannot give the signal to buy the AUD USD all I'm saying that this is the, the best level where we can start shorting the AUD USD and in the end um, for the AUD USD I have to say and to keep everyone safe that I cannot really give the clear signal uh, just to be safe and to make sure that we are giving uh, the best signals on this channel let's take a look at the USD CAD now the USD CAD has continued to go more up as I expected and if I'm not mistaken this was the level where I expected for the USD CAD to start reversing and then it's gonna make a pullback reversing on the support level and then we can start buying again the USD CAD so uh, USD CAD in my opinion is good for this for the sell uh, not for so long let me just tell you where we can start actually uh, buying the USD CAD again let me just mark the strong support levels I believe let me just go back to the four hour chart uh, the last week analysis video for the USD CAD I was expecting for a short here where we can make a scalping signal and for the USD CAD to reverse hitting this previous support and then it's gonna climb its way up here uh, after reversing from the support sadly that didn't happen and in the end this resistance has been breaking out and after the pullback or the retest this previous resistance resistance has become a new support level so what's next now what's next here what we can see on the four hour chart is a good price action indicating a bearish reversal for the USD CAD therefore I believe the USD CAD is gonna continue its bearish momentum all the way until it hit this previous support level and then from that point we can start buying the USD CAD now let me just be sure what I'm telling now is the theory let me just be sure about the levels before I confirm to you that this is the signal we can see that here we had really strong uh, support also yes uh, there should be better ways of course and this time I'm going to use the Fibonacci retracement I mean this pair is really so messy 
indeed exactly it's on the, the level 38.2 uh, let me just confirm it using the trend lines and since we are going to the buy I'm going to uh, clone a support trend line which is also confirming yes it's also confirming that this should be good level to start buying the USD CAD therefore yes that is my signal for this week the USD CAD is uh, in my opinion is gonna make some small pullback here back to this uh, strong support level right here which was a Fibonacci 38.2 and then from this resist from this support is gonna continue its bullish momentum and on daily candles we can see that happening and I think we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here so hopefully we are looking for almost 115 pips of profit on the USD CAD so USD CAD is good for the buy on the level 1.31895 that is our signal for the USD CAD and keep the thread running all the way until it hit the resistance on the level 1.33054 so hopefully this is what will gonna happen and hopefully we are going to make some decent and good profits from buying the USD CAD let's check now the USD GPY so the USD GPY my signal was thankfully accurate and we can see that the pair has almost touched this level where I mentioned to start shorting the USD GPY and the pair just continued to fall more down for almost um, 80 or 90 pips of profit I'm glad because those who have joined the signal have made this this much of profit anyway now what is the next move for the USD GPY now going to the daily candles we don't see much actually because the pair has been ranging here for quite a long time so actually all of the support and the resistance levels are not clear on the daily candles so let's now move to the four hour chart now on the four hour chart it's very clear actually that we are seeing right here a strong resistance level right here we can see it right here and here and right here as well which was also of course a strong support in the past let's look more to the left and we can see indeed this level was really strong as a resistance it was a key resistance and here as well it was a key resistance level therefore we can uh, depend on it to start shorting again the USD GPY right on this level I really don't think the USD GPY is rising up at all at this moment and therefore let me just uh, be accurate like that so this is your signal for the USD GPY is to the sell USD GPY is to the sell after the pullback on the level 108.827 now I'm aware that might take really long time because we are expecting wait we're gonna wait for the USD GPY to reverse for almost 100 uh, sorry for almost uh, 47 pips before it's good for the buy however that is the signal and I cannot change it I can never tell you to start buying the USD GPY at all that is gonna be way too risky it might actually continue falling more down I'm not yet sure all I'm saying that the USD GPY is good for the sell on this moment uh, sorry on this resistance level don't short the USD GPY before that it's gonna be risky you can do it on your own risk however I advise you guys to wait for the pullback to happen let's check right now the USD CHF the USD CHF if I'm, if I'm not mistaken the signal was for the sell and the pair has not for the sell sorry sorry no the signal was to continue the buy order I remember the last midweek analysis video uh, the pair was somewhere here and I mentioned that we can wait for it to hit the tech profit level then we are gonna wait some price action indicating if we can buy or sell or if it's gonna break out from this resistance or reverse thankfully the pair continued rising all the way until hitting our tech profit level so we could have me might have ended this uh, trade with almost 65 pips of profit for those who have joined this signal however now what we can see that the USDCHF has reversed from this uh, resistance level so let's see next what we can see from the USDCHF what I really hate is that the USDCHF is really hanging on a very strong support zone right here which is actually gonna be gonna be confusing 
and therefore it's really hard to give the signal because we are now playing a gambling game here so we are not yet sure if the pair is going to reverse or not from this level uh, the price action however is not, in, not very clear we are seeing good price action for the buy another good action, price action for the buy however I don't see my favorite price action which I usually trust uh, this one here is similar to it but this uh, tail is so tiny that we cannot really depend on it uh, daily candles I see it going strongly in the bearish momentum however uh, the only thing I can advise for the USDCHF is wait for it to actually reach the support level the, the lowest of the support level let me just be clear right if I'm not mistaken it's just gonna be right here exactly right here yes like that let me just check out to the left perfect not so perfect I just uh, want to mention it's not really easy my friends to give the signal for the USD CHF since it's at the bottom of the support level um, in general I'm expecting for the USD CHF to actually fall down to this support level and then it's gonna rise up for almost 100 pips before it's gonna start falling again now what we can see is the USD CHF has entered the support zone therefore it's really hard to give the signal for the USD CHF um, all I can tell you is to give you the scalping or the temporary signal that we can start buying the USD CHF right on this level of the support and then just to be safe exit your trade right on this previous resistance which is actually the, the pair is right on the, at the moment so we are going to place our trade right on this previous support level and exit our trade on this resistance I will update you once we are having confirmation I will update you on the midweek analysis video uh, if you enter the signal you can get out hopefully with almost 50 pips of profit and hopefully we are gonna get them and after that it's gonna be more clear what we are going to do with the USD CHF so in general the signal for the USD CHF this week temporary is gonna be for the buy on the level buy on the level 0.95870 then exit your trade at the bouncing when the bouncing is over hopefully it's gonna over that at that level on 0.96336 after that I will update you in the midweek analysis video and I will tell you what we can do with this pair let's now check the gold which is really confusing nowadays I mean the gold is not really clear what is gonna happen with the gold I mean in general uh, the gold is keep reversing on levels which I really didn't expect to I mean honestly speaking I don't see any good reason for the gold to reverse on this support level um, it just doesn't make really much sense for me I was expecting for the gold to go down and make a support number two uh, right on the support level right here however let's see what we're gonna happen next to the gold where is the next level we, where we can actually start buying the gold because in my opinion the gold is gonna continue rising all the way up now the gold is not reversing on any resistance right here the gold is gonna rise up all the way until it, had, it hit this resistance level that's almost for sure we can see that the pair has already reached this level and I believe it's gonna continue all the way up until it hit it again remember right now we are on the weekly candles this is the weekly candles and therefore looking at this uh, price action or this candle shape here that's indicating that the gold is going to continue rising all the way up until it hit the top of this week here so going to the daily candles again and four hours and one hour we can see that the gold is actually going to continue rising more up and if i'm not mistaken let me just be sure yes right here that is actually gonna be is supposed to be a good level to start again buying the gold right on this level of 1585.79 I forgot to say to say buy just buy the gold on this level and again the reason I'm sending I'm sending the signal to buy on this level is we had a strong resistance here in the past and also not to mention that in the past also 
we had a strong support right here and a strong resistance right here and as I said the pair in general general is going to continue the bearish momentum all the way until it has this previous uh, resistance which is right here so that is actually our take profit level hopefully we're going to get them hopefully really uh, the level 1611.45 now I just have to mention that you might expect for the gold to go a little bit against you let me just say until when that's actually good part of the signal is to make everyone accept expect uh, if the losses are gonna occur how far are they gonna occur um, I'm afraid it's a lot actually yeah for almost 31 pips so if you ever have placed your buy order right on this uh, previous resistance you can expect for the gold to fall down for almost 30 pips and hopefully uh, that is gonna be the definite level where the pair is gonna actually make the reversal and you can start uh, or you can keep your buy order running uh, until the pair or sorry as long as the pair in this zone here you can keep your buy order if you see it fall from this or sorry uh, exceeding this uh, support zone here you will have to close it with the loss because most likely the pair then um, might continue falling until hitting this previous support but honestly speaking I don't see this is happening the goal seems to be going up I don't see I don't see it actually falling down at all especially looking at the weekly candles the weekly is saying or shouting for the buy that is very strong signal for the buy on the weekly candles therefore i'm really almost very very much sure uh, that the gold is going to continue rising this week and hopefully we're gonna get them all so in the end i really hope this is going to be a good week for everyone and i would like to thank you for watching